Hello everyone and welcome to part one, an overview of the VRA ServiceNow ITSM 8.2 plugin. VMware VRLize Automation speeds up the delivery of infrastructure and application resources through a policy-based self-service portal, on-premises or as a service, that help you increase business and IT agility, productivity, and efficiency. The solution delivers day one service provisioning and day two operational capabilities across private, hybrid, and multi-cloud with the ability to create application blueprints using Visual Canvas with a drag and drop interface as well as create blueprints as code. The VRLize Automation plugin, on the other hand, for ServiceNow provides an out-of-the-box integration between the ServiceNow portal and VRLize Automation catalog and governance model. It enables ServiceNow users to deploy virtual machines and perform basic day two operations on their CMDB assets. The VRA ServiceNow plugin will allow you at the end of the day to directly benefit from the accessibility and governance of VRLize Automation and everything it offers. Some of the what's new support uh, features uh, that are supported in the 8.2 plugin are uh, custom form support, multi-level approvals, email notifications, dynamic drop-down and interdependent fields. This is when uh, you want to link the drop-down menu to uh, a VRO or VRLize orchestrator action. Support, of course, for the latest release of ServiceNow, which is the Paris release. Also, there's a beta support uh, if you want to use the native ServiceNow service portal and or the native classic ServiceNow UI. Um, I'm uh, looking to create a bonus video at the end of this multi-part video blog series to demonstrate the that capability. We also have support of the user portal today that is offered by the plugin without the need anymore for the ITIL role. At the end, we also support IRE, which is the uh, ServiceNow identification and reconciliation engine. IRE is an underlining key component in identification and reconciliation, providing a centralized framework to perform identification and reconciliation processes across different data sources. In terms of the use cases, uh, we, of course, uh, when you first deploy the plugin, we get a snapshot view of all the environments. This is an overview of all the discovered catalog items and projects uh, coming from multiple uh, VRLize automation uh, instances. These uh, instances can be on-prem, or uh, subscription, which is SaaS. So uh, 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 the plugin support both VRA on-prem or VRA cloud. Uh, you're able to create entitlements where you can define permissions for the uh, catalog admin uh, or a group of the user who is going to control the application to, so they can add uh, endpoints, maintain the registration, create entitlements for users, etc. And of course, uh, permission for the users, which is who's going to consume uh, these catalog items uh, via the plugin. You can also create entitlements within the plugin for users and groups to define what catalog items, services, or day two, uh, day two actions that they're able to uh, execute. Uh, users also have the capability uh, to use uh, and share the resources among each other. Provisioning and deploy, uh, we can, we can of course, uh, with the entitlement, your ability to apply governance and deploy only authorized catalog items, while uh, having the capability as a user to view the activity for those requested catalog items as well. Uh, take take a look at whether it's pending for approval, if it's already approved, if it's completed, things like that. On uh, day two actions uh, side of things, uh, we can also, the users of the plugin can perform day two actions such as resize, starting or stopping the virtual machines, reconfiguration, etc. Uh, the only thing that you're not able to do today with the ITSM plugin 8.2 is you cannot apply approval policies on day two actions like you can like you can do natively in VRA. 
uh, on the but the actual deployment uh, those are subject to approval or rejection by the approval group or the approval users simple login uh, ServiceNow, uh, this is using ServiceNow based login with authorization for the VRA accounts. You do have access to or you need an integration user when you're registering the VRA uh, endpoints. Uh, but it absolutely does not require any ADFS or uh, single sign-on solutions set up for the plugin. Uh, you can uh, simply use it out of the box. Um, for the discovery and sync, uh, of course, the importing of that resources, uh, whether they're the projects or catalog items, happens uh, during the initial configuration, or you can actually manually import those when, when the case arises. Um, items are also synced per scheduled jobs. These jobs can be configured with the required interval. Uh, so uh, you can use what the what the default intervals are, but you're, again, uh, you're welcome to um, customize those intervals uh, based on your needs. Uh, user mapping, like we mentioned, uh, the ServiceNow in general or the, the ITSM plugin have a specific role to access the VRA catalog. You got the catalog admin and the user, uh, including the system admin of the ServiceNow. CMDB, we expose and publish and populate the catalog items in ServiceNow and all as well as update the CMDB when a uh, request is carried out or a deployment uh, completes. Um, and finally, on the notification side, uh, email notifications are sent when catalog deployment is successful in VRA. Uh, there's a lot of switches and configuration and settings that you can control in terms of when do you want to trigger these notification and at what stages uh, and also uh, ServiceNow tickets are raised uh, when a catalog deployment or day two action fails in VRA. That takes us to the end of part one of the video. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.